So perhaps the rain won't be as big a factor as the early reports made it out to be. You can't always believe the weatherman. Minneapolis, Philadelphia. Next! And look at all the happy t It's heads. Number eight, kicking off for the Vikings. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Elling boots the opening kickoff. Mitchell fields it all the way back at the five. Tackled at the 27. Susie Culver is standing down on the sidelines, and she has a weather report for it. Susie? Thank you, Dan. Well, this rain shower has pretty much soaked everything down here. Players, trainers, coaches, and especially the field. The grass is quickly turning into a slippery, muddy mess. Back to you, Dan. Susie, thank you. Check air, Second check and air. 10. Ball at the Eagles, 27 yard line. Westbrook gets the handoff and heads left. Brian Westbrook is a real good back. Third year man out of Villanova and a good performer out of the backfield. He draws the camera's attention most of the time because he can make it happen. Third down, three wideouts in the game. Westbrook gets the call again. Can't convert the third down. That will bring up fourth down. Johnson lines up to punt after the three and out. Johnson takes the long snap and punts it away. Winfield fields the punt at the 26. Dragged down at the 42. Antoine Winfield seized some prime field position for his offense with that huge run back. Uh, they needed that, especially after that nice punt. The Vikings offense will start this drive at their 42-yard line. Bennett cruises out to the left side and shoots forward for That's nine yards. That will end the first quarter, and it's still a scoreless game. Pepper tosses it deep down the left side and First he connects. Marcus Robinson has a guy shadowing him, but still. Like First down, Ten. one man back. Bennett <laughs> gains five on the play, and that will bring up second down. Second and five. Then gets the call again and heads out right. Right down at the four. Third down, two wide outs on the field. Well, they can run, but they also have a go-to receiver in there. Let's watch. And he's in. This is a nice run here. And when you watch the replay, Dan, check out his field vision. Great job of finding space. That's the first time he's seen the end zone, and you know it was Number going to happen to sooner or later. Oh, he expects Number to have 12, something holding. under that TD stat at the end of every game. Here's the extra point, and the extra point is good. it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Ellen kicks this one away. Mitchell fields it at the 15. Tackle at the 32. Freddie Mitchell could have really done some damage off that less than stellar kick, but his run back is only so-so. The Eagles offense takes the field with the clock at 13. McNabb throws this on a rope, and it's caught at the 47. The Eagles take their first time out. First down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Akers with the 43-yard attempt, and it's... David Akers gets a soggy football here, but he's on target. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. 
Akers rockets this one deep. Smith decides to take it out of the end zone. Crosses the field. Pushed out at the 17. The the second quarter. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Vikings are out in front, 7-3. to three. And now let's send you to Chris... The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Akers boots the second half kickoff away. Williams fields the second half kickoff at the two. Tackled at the 25. Let's go down to Susie Culber, who has an update for us. Susie? Thanks, Dan. Head coach Mike Tice told me at halftime that he's fairly satisfied with her overall play in the first half. He said, we the Eagles take an early timeout, which may come back to haunt them later in the game. Second and two. Well, the Vikings, 33. Bennett will get the carry on second down and takes it upfield. The Eagles burn another timeout here, which may prove costly for them later on. First down with the tight end right. The Vikings, 30 yard Culpepper throws a beauty to the right side, and it's knocked down at the line incomplete. Corey Simon swatted that pass away right at the line. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming. The Eagles waste their last time out here early in the half, which can easily end up hurting them later in the game. Pepper makes the throw after the play action Mike. fake and they convert on third down. Dante Culpepper made a nice throw there, got it right past the defender. A nice gain, and they easily convert on third down. Yeah, that was a good call. They'll take their sweet time getting this playoff, man. There's no reason for them to hurry to snap. Bennett gets the call on first down and will lose about a yard here. Dan, I want to point out something on that last play. Did you notice the job he did in letting the play clock wind all the way down before snapping the ball? That's good clock management. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Vikings are out in front, seven to three. Second down, the clock is stopped at one minute. Culpepper passes this one after the play action and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Why they passed it, I have no idea. They could have run out the clock and instead stop it with an ill-advised incompletion. Third down, coming up on the tenth play of the drive. Moss catches a hard throw and the ball's loose. Lito Shepard delivers a solid hit here, but I think if it hadn't been raining, he would have held on to it. As it was, that ball was more slippery than the field covered in motor oil. Peter, there are many ways you can start a drop. After review, the play has been ruled an incomplete pass. The receiver did not have possession of the ball prior to the fumble. Fourth down. He likes yeah. the call, and you sort of have a feeling yeah. that he knew it all along. rainy conditions, but he's playing for the defense, people. That rain is really rewriting the playbook out there today. 
And that time, the D was the big winner. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. McNabb passes a high, long passes one, incomplete. and this one is Mitchell, incomplete. The intended receiver. Second down. The clock is stopped at 43. This one will fall incomplete. Uh, the deflection. That's what I'm talking about, baby. We're bringing it. I'm bringing it. Yeah. I told you. Third down, hey, empty backfield. I'm coming for you. Ball to the Eagles, 21 yards. McNabb zips it to the left sideline, and it incomplete. is not reeled in. Terrell incomplete. Was the intended receiver. Antoine Winfield was Antoine on that fly Winfield ball on that cover. last play oh, like glue. Yeah, and he knew about, where the pass baby. was going, and he stopped it. Incomplete. Well, the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Kenner and was in man coverage and played it pretty tight. Tight enough with the coverage. The Vikings will start this drive with unbelievable field position with the clock at 35. The clock will continue to run. That's all, folks. They can now run out the clock. What Second a performance. Ball at the 17. Bennett has his number called on second down, and he stopped. The clock continues to run. Third down, two wideouts on the field. Bennett has his number called on third down and converts the third down. And that will do it for tonight's game. The Vikings come out on top, seven.